Uh, hi, I'm Alex Juhas. I'm one of the co-curators of Perpetue, Repurposing Social Media Spaces, which is an art show that's going to be happening in the gallery I'm about to show you from July 12th to September 6th and on YouTube, YouTube in perpetuity. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the gallery space for all of you people watching and only watching on YouTube so you get a sense of what the second show or the other show or the complimentary shadow show is, which is occurring inside a gallery space uh, in Claremont, California. So welcome and come in. Um, this is the main gallery space and we're chancing upon Pacho Hubert, who is the other uh, co-curator of the show, who is making the chairs, which, will, which are an essential part of the structure and organization and design of the show and Pacho's sort of building them. So you want to speak briefly about the chairs? Sure, so the chairs, there are 16 chairs, and they, each one features two questions that um, I think mirror some of our thinking as we were preparing the show, and that we hope will serve as uh, prompts for visitors to the show and visitors like you from YouTube who want to contribute by making work. And uh, they're coupled around themes that come from Alex's research about YouTube and about media studies, including chaos and control, education and entertainment, isolation and uh, connection. Um, distraction and depth. Distraction and depth. So those are our four themes for the show. And we're doing questions like this. And then on the back, we have a coupled prompt. And as you can see, the, the room is really white and it's really empty. Um, and it's white and empty for a lot of reasons, but one of them is that um, we're imagining the gallery space as a, almost as a presentation space, almost as a white box as opposed to a black box. And every day in this room, one of 32 invited presenters will show work from 10 in the morning till 10.15, which will record and the space will go live. And then this gallery space will be empty except for these incredible chairs which Pato produced to really sculptural objects as well as they're, they're meant to be sculptural objects and then they're meant to be um, conversation pieces and, and instigations towards the production of new works um, on YouTube. So they can exist as objects in a gallery space and do, and I, I really am excited by them as sort of minimalist sculptures and this evolving installation. But as our saying for the show says, the space is now open for all of us. It's also really important to us that visitors during that morning window and throughout other opening hours here at the exhibition space, as well as again, all of you on YouTube, think about the space, meaning the project being open to your ideas. And so that leads us to other parts of the way we've set up the exhibition space. There's what we might think of as a research space that we're setting up, and um, it includes URLs where visitors to this gallery can, can explore Alex's work about YouTube, they can explore previous exhibitions here at the Pitzer Galleries, and perhaps most relevant to this show, Perpetube Space Show itself as it evolves on YouTube. So this becomes a research lab that we're calling an exploration chamber. And then upstairs, as you move into the second floor of the gallery space, is an area where we make. So let's go up there and see what we got. And of course, one of the things we're trying to model when we think about repurposing YouTube is how people make more thoughtful, more beautiful, more intelligent, more interactive work on YouTube. And we suggest that research before you make is one of those, um, something we can model. To actually spend some time thinking and looking at what other people have done. So in the physical layout of the show, we hope, although we don't prescribe, that people will research before they make. And they'll look at the body of work accumulating on YouTube before they actually produce the piece themselves and enter the show. Now we're still, building the show, but here you'll here there'll be just a big Mac computer with a video camera on the top and you can make a video here um, if so inclined and we hope you will. And we'll also be checking out small um, handheld cameras. What are those called? Flip cameras. Flip cameras. People can make uh, take the cameras and make uh, work on their own um, outside of the space. And we'll have two um, currently called interns, but we're renaming them to sort of um, show the way that they're instigators and creative participants in the show who will help people make video if they come to this space. From 10.30 till 4 every day, there will be nothing in the space other than the research center and the production center, 
uh, as opposed to a typical gallery, there's no art on the wall, there's just the art that you might produce. Right, and then, you know, a space where you can convene and ask questions via the prompts on the chair, and hopefully through that process that we've just led you through in terms of what's possible in the space, together we make this gallery and then the space we're sharing right now on YouTube a space that's now purposeful, just like everywhere else. And it's really designed to ask questions about how do we utilize the spaces of our lives, whether they're physical and everyday, whether they're digital and everyday, whether it's now in a kind of real time or whether it's archived for the future. And that's why we're excited that you're joining us and we hope you'll contribute to the show. Want to say anything else, Alex? Um, I just think um, this poetic conclusion to the show uh, was penned by Pato and it occurred in a, a kind of ongoing conversation that the two of us have where he really wanted the ending of the show to be a beginning um, which is thinking well why is everywhere else pur purposeful and how is this space purposeful in a particular way and how can I purpose other spaces and that's an uh, invitation that we you know, make not just for this show but for daily use of social tools, social networking tools. Right. So we think about YouTube or Twitter or the net as a kind of space. We think about galleries as a kind of space that we can repurpose depending on what we choose to do there. And the interactions themselves form space and develop relationships. And uh, we're dying to see what you guys are going to contribute. So please do. So purpose our space. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Bye.